हरि ओम नमस्ते नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट साउंड मेडिटेशन साउंड हीलिंग एंड इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ चैंस एंड मंत्रास एंड इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ साउंड ड्यूरिंग योगा और इन आवर डेली लाइफ वर इज साउंड Sound is a wavelength, a vibration. As light moves in a wave, sound is also flows or moves in a wave. The wave or the wavelength is different from the sound, but the similarity is both are energies and both flows in a form of wave. so when we make any sound it has a specific or certain wavelength which meets the cosmos the other elements of nature so the external sounds in the nature and the internal sound what we have in our body combining them connecting them with each other that's the main purpose that's the reason why we like music when someone plays some music singing any instrument or sometime the sound of the nature like rain the breeze the waves of the ocean when they move it gives us so nice feeling we feel so much connected so much related to this sound and the music of nature in the same way the chants the mantras and the hymns the azan the prayers everything works so nicely and have so deep impact in our life and in our mind in our body it even controls our emotion it has a very big and deep effect on us same in yoga if we consider or if we think about why do we need to chant we do need to chant because those sounds are beyond religious is beyond religion is spiritual it is totally related to the nature every each chant every each sound connects with elements connects with the vibration of the nature as we make the sound Om. This sound Om actually comes with three separate sounds. The Akara, A, then comes the sound Ukara, U. makara so these three sounds together which sounds like there are two thoughts about the source of this om the one school of thought is every single moment there is an explosion in the sun so the sound of that explosion is om and another school of thought is there was a big explosion in the sun 
millions of years ago. And from that explosion, there was the creation of Earth, the entire solar system. So that blast or that sound was the sound of destruction, was the sound of creation, and also the sound of entire controlling system of the solar. So if you connect with the Indian mythology, it's the creation, the Brahma, the controller, the Vishnu, and the destroyer, the Maheshwara. So apart from the religious thoughts, if we go to the deeper spiritual thoughts, this Om is the sound of the nature, and it chants from your Manipura, from the Nabhi Mulam, deep from your belly button, it comes with the three scales, base, bale, and sky, and it reaches the levels of the cosmos from one chakra to another, from one chakra to another, from one chakra to another, the deep rooted. So there is no actual religious limitation or binding in this chants or in these mantras. They are universal and they are spiritual beyond any religion. Thank you. Give a pause, give me some water. <laughs>